welcome to New Mexico History Museum's Making History. My name is Melanie Laborwit, an education department at the New Mexico History Museum, and every month we like to share some activities that help you connect to New Mexico history and do something really exciting and fun and creative. So this month we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, and the ornamental pin work we're going to talk about is something that you can talk about this month or you can celebrate year-round and talk about New Mexico's traditional heritage crafts. This one is really iconic. There is lots of metalwork around the world, but this particular style became especially popular when the trail picked up the Santa Fe Trail in the early 1800s and lots of new goods and food came across the Santa Fe Trail from the eastern United States packaged in metal cans, and New Mexico artisans who were short on art materials saw a really great opportunity to reuse and recycle and make something wonderful and beautiful. Originally, oftentimes used um, in churches and for sacred spaces, pieces mimicked Spanish colonial silverwork, and later on they continued to innovate to make all kinds of wonderful things that were utilitarian around the house. Candle work, uh, sconces to hold candles, and um, ornaments, and just picture frames, all kinds of wonderful things. We're going to make a really neat little candle lantern and I hope you enjoy. Come on and join me. The first thing you want to do is to get your materials together. I bought an aluminum baking pan. Make sure it has a flat bottom. You'll need scissors, a marker for a design, a nail, a hammer, some newspaper for a cushion for pounding, a little bit of masking tape or painter's tape, and some all-purpose clear glue. A candle or electric light will be optional. In this picture frame with a photo of me and my dad, you can see examples of two styles, punch work and relief work. One is raised with punch marks and the other by pushing a, across something else that helps raise the center and sort of little ridges. The fan here has just punch work. Each dot is made with the pounding of just one nail, so that's a lot of punching. You can see the front and the back. One is pushed in and was pushed out. And you can make different decorations based on what you, the appearance you would like to have. Sometimes it perforates the surface and makes a hole. We'll talk about that in a minute. This is a little candle holder and this is a good example showing relief work. You can see how it was recycled from an old can some of the marks from the can, but then you can see the relief work and how a line is pushed down the sides. So now that we've seen a few examples, we're going to move on to our next section. Here's what we're going to make. A little candle lantern. You can put a little light inside and you can see the punch work and the perforation that's going to be put on the surface to wrap around a little glass. And there you are. Fold and fold and fold some newspaper into a thick bundle and tape the edges to hold the shape. You'll need this as a cushion. Then measure your glass against the foil baking pan and mark the length to cut. Using regular scissors you can cut the, the foil and then you're going to trim the edges. Make sure it fits and then you're going to tape the foil strip to the newspaper bundle. Have your marker ready because next we're going to make a design. Almost any geometric pattern will do for this project. Get a marker and you're going to press right onto the foil. I like repeated coils. Don't worry about the permanent marker. When your project is finished, you can wipe off the color with alcohol very easily. When you are happy with your design, you are ready to start the punch work. 
experiment with different sizes of nails if you like to see what kinds of effects that they may have. Now that you're ready, you're going to have to have your hammer handy and your nails and you're going to get ready to start punching. You're going to work on a hard surface like the floor or a sturdy table that you can hammer on. I started out here scoring a little bit and working on some simple designs. You can see where I'm pushing to make a little pattern instead of punching, but I didn't do that too much. Simple designs are best to start with. The more lines in your patterns, the more hammering and pushing around. Think of your pattern like a dot to dot drawing and punch a mark about every quarter inch. Tap the hammer or nail twice for each punch, making sure that you make an impression. This is a lot of hammering, so have fun with it. When you're done, you will remove it from the cushion and you'll decide which is the top of the image or the bottom. Remember, because this is for a candle lantern, you will want to go back and choose which spots or punches that you want to put a hole through. This is to let the candlelight come through and you can see what the effect is when you're finished. Take a look at your tin and decide which is the top or bottom. Trim it if it doesn't fit and then you're going to want to take all of the tape off and you're going to reuse it in just a minute. You're going to put it against the glass and tape the edge down to the glass on one side. Once you decided, then you're going to wrap it around, make sure it fits, trim it if it doesn't, and then you're going to get ready to glue. So have your glue handy. Unwrap it again, take out your glue, put some dots all around the glass, and then press it down and then you'll might want to tape down the edges, make sure they match, and then let the glue dry. It shouldn't take too long. You're just going to make sure you have it all trimmed down. And you're all set. Let it dry. You can see where I put the tape over the edge to, before I let it dry, but you turn it around and you can see what it'll look like when it's done. Put in a candle and voila! You have a beautiful little candle lantern. So enjoy the time you spend hammering on some new projects to make some beautiful things for your home. Tin work is a New Mexico craft loved for both its historical roots and its beauty. Enjoy us another event next month with Making History with the New Mexico History Museum.